So welcome back. We are doing a little villager hunt because I have a villager to replace. Marina finally asked to leave. So now I'm looking for Gonzo. Um, I did a live stream the other day. I didn't make it public though. I, I changed it to private afterwards. Um, so you missed all that. But I didn't find Gonzo in that stream. So I'm going to start over. Do about 40 tickets on this one. And skip like 200 and then get to um, the end. So, I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to do a little commentary over top and doing a little voiceover. Because while I was actually playing this and doing the villager hunt, originally I was watching TV. <laughs> I was actually watching TV shows. So I thought this would be the best way to do it. Anyway, I'm hoping you enjoy the voiceover. Um, this way I can I, I kind of know what's going to happen before it happens and um, I've taken notes so we'll see how it goes so on this island I found Octavian as you can see in the background um, he <laughs> is actually not one of my favorites but um, I, ha I did have him. He's a cranky. So there's nothing wrong with him. It's just that I just, I don't know. I think I'm done with the, oct the octopi, <laughs> if that's what you call them. I think I'm kind of done with them. But I did some chores and got a few things that I, actually I got, I think, three or four bugs. Not in, not in this video. But I got like three or four bugs I didn't have. So now I'm down to seven bugs that I need total I am so excited apparently most of the bugs I need now are all late night early morning and heck I never play it at night in fact I hate playing at night <laughs> even when I play at night I play it like the game is daylight but yeah so I thought I'd come out here and do some chores. In fact, some of the some of the um, islands I visited, I actually chopped down all the trees and took the wood because I was starting to get low on that. And I don't cut down my own trees, except for the money trees. But... I can't remember if I talked to him or not. I think I ignore him because I already know who he is and I don't need anything to do with him. Yeah, so we're done with Octavian. We, didn't, we wanted nothing to do with him. So we'll see you in the next island. All right, this next one is Kyle, and I really like him. He's a nice, cranky, cranky smug, but um, I left him behind because I was looking for one creature only, and it was Gonzo. And if you haven't seen Gonzo, he's really cute. He has, like, he's white, pink, and gray. Which is why I'm wearing those colors. <laughs> Thinking it would bring me better luck. But after about, I'd say 250 tickets, I don't think I got very lucky. But. Yeah, so I just, um, I'm doing a little chores. And those bees, by the way, are worth a lot of money. So anytime you get a chance to get one, just get one. I was collecting furniture because there's a few ways to get the different colors and the different types. And one is the mystery islands, getting them from trees. Of course, you can get them from your own island. I think your own island has trees that you can shake. I just don't have any trees that can be shaken with all my flowers. <laughs> Way too many flowers. But yeah, the easiest way to get extra stuff is if you've got the time and you've got the Nook Mile tickets, just go and, especially if you're a new player, you can get all kinds of stuff. 
All right. We are on number three. Not that it matters because it's really not number three. <laughs> In real time, this is probably... My guess would probably be <laughs> maybe 73. That's just my guess. I was not tracking it. But honestly, this is a great way to like get extra stuff, like get furniture that you don't have, get colors you don't have. And make sure you look for a bottle on the beach every time. And I believe our villager today is Fuchsia. And she's a nice villager too. She's a sisterly and she's very, very sweet. I have her on my Southern Hemisphere Island. And she's probably going to... Actually, I'm sorry. I was going to say she's probably going to stay, but I lie. I actually kicked her out. And that's only because I had her. I have her amiibo, so it's no big deal. She may show up on my other island eventually on Agape. But yeah, I, I had a lot of fun doing this villager hunt trying to find trying to find Gonzo, it, it became a huge challenge. Because I just wasn't getting anywhere. Right, we'll go to the next island. I can introduce you to the next... The next... I was going to say cutie pie. <laughs> You'll find out. Look, it's Chief. If he's not cute, I don't know what is. Cranky old man. And the interesting thing is, of the let's see how many how many uh, tickets did I use just in this video? Thirty-eight. So I used thirty-eight tickets just in this video, and only. Five of them were Cranky, and, and Cranky was the only personality I didn't have on my island. So it goes to show you that if you watch any videos that tell you, you know, if you need a Cranky Villager, you need a Peppy Villager, whatever it is you need, if you go mystery hunting, you'll probably find them easier. It's not true. <laughs> I didn't actually do the do the numbers here, but five out of thirty-eight, I guess, isn't that bad considering all the other personality types. However, if the game was actually using what you need, you would have found a lot more than five. That's all right. All right, can't wait to share with you who's next. All right. I actually like this one. I like Pico. Apparently, Pico's normal. And I don't need another normal villager. I have Kiki, and I'm very happy with her. And when I'm bored with her, maybe Pico could be somebody I would choose. But I like keep it. I like having all of the personality types, so I don't want to get rid of any of them. 
except for Marina, which we all know I, I already did that. <laughs> or we wouldn't be here today. But I did. I had two normals, so one had to go. And Bamboo Island's a great resource also, if you're looking for bamboo. and Especially in the spring, because in the springtime you get the young, the young bamboo, and that's a lot of things you can make with that, so. And I seem to get Bamboo Island a lot, for some reason. Oh, and guys, just keep an eye out for Wilbur. His dialogue. Has anyone ever noticed his dialogue when you go to leave? Even when you go, you know, fly in. His dialogue's better than, I think, most of the NPCs in the game. It's actually... I started noticing it when I was recording, and I was like, you know what? I should pay more attention to that. And he says all kinds of different cute things, and it's very... His phrases are funny. But yeah, so I didn't, I didn't record, I cut the recording off on the inbound, but I left the recording there on the outbound. But I did get a lot of good bugs that I needed. I shouldn't say a lot, just a lot of what I had left. I was only down to like 11 bugs and I got like three or four. Now I did get some of them. I got a couple of them this morning because I was playing. I was I was up at like 5.30ish and my game was two hours behind me. So it was like three o'clock in the morning on the game and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna hunt one last time. If I don't get... Oh look, we got Pashmina. I like her too. I do have her on my other island. She's sisterly. But I was like, if I don't get Gonzo this morning, I'm going to let it autofill. Because I have been trying for way too many days. But I won't spoil anything. Don't want you to know how it ends. But yeah, so I decided to try my luck at 3 o'clock in the morning mystery hunting. But yeah, notice this. Notice this. Come on, you gotta notice those phrases. They're, they're very cute. Alright, let's see who's on the next island. Alright. This is the island that I try to catch a fish on. I do a really terrible job at it. That's okay. I think it was a shark. Because if it was a sucker shit, yeah, a sucker shift. If it was a sucker fish, I would have caught it. Because they're a little bit slower. I mean, look, a throwback hat table. I didn't even look to see what kind it was. I just took them home and sold them. That was a just in case. And here we go. Here's here's the fish incident. We're coming up on it. It's a shark. We know it's a shark. Alright, wrong angle. Might have to adjust. Uh uh. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I am much better at fishing than this. I just can't catch these guys. And... Yeah, I didn't even wait for them to nibble. It totally could have been a... Sh it totally could have been a sucker fish. Does anybody read those letters? I can tell you I don't. And they might actually be cute. So 
except for our next villager. We have Tia. And she is a sweetheart. She's a normal also. I looked most of these up before I actually started recording. But there were a few I wasn't sure about. Actually, there's one I should have been sure about, but I didn't write it down, so I couldn't tell you what he is. But you'll see him shortly. In fact, while we're going to the next island, which is going to be really, really quick, only because, well, I skipped a lot. And the one thing I noticed when I was skipping was that it takes exactly one minute from the time Wilbur starts talking to you till you get out of the island, get back to your island, and then Orville has to go through his whole spiel to get back to the next mystery island. It's a full minute. No wonder it seems so long. But Winnie's, an, Winnie's a peppy, and I had her on my island. I think she was one of my first villagers. And I really liked Winnie. She was the first one I became best friends with. But she was the... <laughs> she, it took me the longest to get her picture. And by the time I got her picture, I was like, you know what? You're gone. I'm done. Alright, I'm gonna look up... The cats, because... And a couple villagers, one of them is going to be a cat. Oh, all right. So I know that now, and I'll let you know in a couple, uh, in a couple islands. And you guys are all gonna be like, I knew that. <laughs> and I had to look it up. I'm thinking I should have known that. Alright, I'll see you guys at the next island. Alright. So, let's see who we have on this island. Besides bees, of course. Looks like we have Tibble. And he is a jock. He's actually cute. I like him. We have a bottle. Looks like another recipe I already have. Which is tough when you have so many recipes already. Yeah, he's cute. In fact, I have... Oops. I have an app. I have ACNH Life. And I've been trying to track everything. It's really hard to do. I mean, the bugs and stuff are really easy, but... The actual DIYs are really hard. And it looks like, if I've been tracking them correctly, I have less than 100 to find out of like a, on this thing it says there's 638 so you'd think it'd be a little easier to find than what it is oh look we've got Shep on this one and I had no idea he's a smug villager and I did just discover that today that wasn't the one I was looking up though earlier Yeah, he's really cute, but he is smug. I don't know if he can pull the smug off like Marshall and 
Raymond, though. He, he really looks more hippie to me. And that's not generally a smug personality. Alright, let's see what the next island has in store for us. That's where the next island, I'm gonna read what he says. Alright, this one I wasn't sure about. I didn't even look him up. In fact, I don't even think I talked to him, or maybe I do. An ant farm. Sometimes you get dumb gifts. So it's Rory. Um, I'm not sure the personality there. If you know, put it in the comments. Because I'm not a big lion fan, so I didn't even look him up. Oh, but you know what? I've got my app open, so let's see. We'll go to the lions. And we'll go to... Oh, Rory is a jock. Alright. Rory's a jock. Sometimes I hit other... Other creatures in my game. With the net. Not on purpose. Next one is the one I had to look up. You're all gonna laugh. I know you're all gonna laugh. Look, you already see him. You already know. You know Bob's a lazy. <laughs> a guess by the voice and the happy demeanor because he's, he's not peppy he's definitely gonna be lazy except for Dom Dom's a jock and he is very happy you don't even mind when he talks about jock stuff I think I have this one already but I had to I had to grab it they all start to look alike after a while. <laughs> a little difficult getting out of there. Right on to the next island. I'm just, I'm just glad I didn't record all of the footage. It would have taken hours. All right, so this is. He's a cranky. And you know what? I don't hate them, but they're not my favorite. Those little eyes. Those little tiny eyes. Little beady eyes. Alright, still doing my chores. I think, pretty sure I did my chores the whole way through this. Quick glance through. Oh, look, last tree I hit. Oh, 
All right, let's see. Bell bottom dumps tap. This is stovetop microphone. See? Again, they're, they're like tongue twisters. <laughs> so I won't be reading any more of those to you. You just read them yourself. <laughs> That'd be easier. See another bamboo island. And that's Alfonso. I didn't even look those up. Um, he is a lazy. So Alfonso is a lazy villager. Looking at my list, it, I feel like I've gotten pretty much the same amount of every kind of villager. Alright, let's see what the next island brings us. From my list, it looks like a good one. And I'm a little, a little partial to these. It's Muffy. And she's a sisterly, but I like her a lot. I really like all the sheep. Like I said, I'm kind of partial to the sheep. I didn't used to be, but all of a sudden I really like the sheep. Look, a diner neon sign? How many of those do you get? I'm sure there's many more colors. I think I have like three or four different versions of it. Oh, and another good place to find stuff. It's a little more expensive, so if you have the bells, um, whenever Red comes to visit your island, he sells things very, you know, much more expensive than what you would normally pay out. But he's got different colors and different things at your island that you may not have gotten on your island yet. So keep an eye out for him when he shows up. Because otherwise you won't even get those items unless you trade them with a friend. And if you're a solo player like I am mostly, it's, it's hard to actually get all those different colors and the different furniture that your island has not given you yet. Alright, who is on this island? I didn't even write their name down, that's how much I like this villager. This is probably my least, my least favorite, if you can even put it in a favorite category. I'm not even sure I know who this is. Let's see. Anybody know which mouse that is? I might have to look it up. <laughs> see, I didn't even go near it. Was it, was it Bella, maybe? I can't tell, I couldn't tell from that far away. And if it was Bella, it was, she was a peppy. I'm not gonna give us another chance to see her.
This next one's not on my favorite list, but um, I, I believe I at least talked to her. After I shake my trees. <laughs> yeah, that's Lucy. She's normal. Nothing exciting about her. I kind of wish I had left the... Left the little note up there a little bit longer so I could read it. I'm sure it's not a tongue twister like... Like Wilbur's. Some of the islands I didn't even get anything on except for bees. But I figure if I'm going there and I'm not getting what I want, I'm going to definitely search around to get something out of the trip. Because those Nook Mile tickets aren't, aren't easy to get your hands on. Let's see. Do I dare go over? I talked to Lucy though. Nope. Nothing in that tree either. She's not bad. She's not bad for a pig. I said I'm not reading them out loud anymore, but I am reading them. Oh my. Let's see what the next island has for us. Okay, so... I did cut a couple clips out that I was going to use. Um, but I decided to make the, this little hunt a little shorter. So we're probably going to end up with about, instead of, let's see, 38, we're going to, we're going to probably end up with about 27, 28. All right. I think if I'm not mistaken. This one is Rudy. Rudy's very cute too. Rudy's a jock. I was kind of surprised to see that. Never really did any research on the villagers to see what kind of personalities they all had. All right, and we're out. <laughs> that was a quickie. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. That was funny. I, you guys got to read these. Yeah, I think he says something different just about every time. I'm sure he repeats at some point. Alright, this next one, I've seen this one twice. That's why I cut one of the clips out. I had just seen Queenie right before Rudy. And then I come to this island, I see Queenie again. But in all of those villager hunts, though, I think I've only—I think I only got to see Octavian was the one I got to see twice. And I ended up cutting him out too. The second clip. Yeah, I like Queenie. I think I actually have her amiibo. Sorry I'm making you sit through all of this. All, of, all this searching for furniture and trees and trying to find bottles and the summer shells and the coral. I started grabbing those because I don't I don't know about you guys, but I don't get as many of those on the island on my island. So I thought while I was out and about and I'm doing all this, I might as well just grab them up if I see them. 
I know there was some stuff that I wanted to make and it took coral and I didn't have near enough and I went out to my beach and I think I could only find two and that still wasn't enough for what I wanted to make. So that's why I've been collecting those when I see them. See, I think some of these islands, you almost have to climb up to that second level to get anything out of the trees, and I'm, I wasn't taking the time out to do all that. Alright, off to the next one. And the one in between this one would have been Flurry, and I, I skipped her. But Flurry's a normal, and she's, she's cute too. I really like her. And this one is Maddie. She is a peppy. She's a peppy dog. And for those of you don't know that don't know, Flurry is a penguin. If you can't tell she's peppy. <laughs> she is cute though. If I didn't already have a peppy, I would probably take her. I actually had Cookie on my island, which she fit the aesthetics because she's like a pink, like pastelish kind of dog. She actually she's pink, <laughs> but oh yeah, these ones got me. It was almost like it was my first time out. Well, if that branch hadn't been there, stupid. Beehive wouldn't have fallen so far away from the tree, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was just stunned. I couldn't move. Hey, but at least I got some furniture out of it. Nothing else. And a summer shell. All right, let's read it again. Stove top pencil case. Okay, that's the only part I'm going to read. That was funny. None of it makes sense. That's what's so fun about it. <laughs> All right, let's see who we have on this island. Although I already know. I'm gonna wait till you can at least see them. Hmm. I will tell you though, I didn't have much luck with those bottles. But like I said, I did get the bugs, so. It was actually worthwhile doing these doing these uh, mystery hunts. All right, let's just show us who we got. <laughs> got it that time. Oh, and what you didn't see behind the scenes was I went back and went to the store and bought myself some medicine. Just in case this, that same scenario happened again. Alright, let's go check out who's over here. I know, you just barely saw her. I'm gonna wait. And this one I like too. This is a cute bunny. Dottie, isn't she cute? I won't lie. On this one, I almost pulled... I almost pulled a K-Daisy. <laughs> Y'all know who that is. 
where, you know, she's doing her villager hunt, uh, live streaming, and invites the wrong villager. I accidentally hit her with my net, or touched her before I hit the net. And that's apparently a second, <laughs> second talk to. Fortunately, I answered correctly. I'd have been so mad at myself. Well, anyway, if you don't know who KDZ is, go check her out. Go check her channel out. Right, let's see who's next. doesn't matter who's next. All I see is money. And the fun fact is, I don't need any. I have plenty of money in this game. But I see Money Rock Island and I don't have a choice. It's like I have to do it. All right, here we go. Let's get stone. He's all right. I wouldn't take him. I think that mustache turns me off on a bunny. Something about a mustache on a bunny. All right, let's get to work. I'm going to try not to drop the orange, okay? That didn't go as planned. That song was fun. I found that I have um, 
of art list. So I I just looked for money in that in their search and that one came up. There were some other good songs with money in it, but that one was more me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. All right, one, well, not one more island. We've got a couple more. This one shouldn't take as long because I found the furniture right away. So we got a bird. I think this one is Jock or Jacques. I don't know if what kind of personality he has though. Why do I feel like it's lazy? Would I be right if I said that? I'm gonna look it up. Every time I go to look things up on here, though, I end up clicking on <laughs> Pocket Camp on my phone. Alright, let's see. Oh, he's smug. Okay. So, Jacques is smug. I guess I should have guessed by the name. I don't know. That was my bad. This one surprised me. I didn't know Pietro was a smug. I had Pietro. He freaked me out. So I got rid of him. Kind of like how sometimes, you know, people say Dom freaks them out. Well, that's how Pietro freaks me out. He's the only sheep that I will never have on my island again. Unless it's a Halloween island. <laughs> it's the only way. Halloween island where I need a creepy clown. Whoops. Uh, I'm telling you, if you're not reading that dialogue, you should be. Alright, let's see who's next. This one should be way over there in the corner. Little green frog. This one's Tad. And he's a jock, too. Let's see if that was three jocks in a row, like for real, in a row. No, actually, Elvis would have been in between P Pietro and Tad, and Elvis would have been a cranky lion. Now we have Norma. Norma, who is normal. I had her on my Southern Hemisphere Island. I don't know if I kept her or not. I don't play with that island that very that that often. The only thing I do plan to do with it is um is come up with some kind of a theme, which I haven't come up with yet. Mainly because I'm still, like, stuck in the middle winter down there, so I haven't really wanted to do much with it. Because we're going to have winter soon enough here. I 
All right. Well, that was quick. It's a coffee cup. Yay. I should have checked it to see what color it was. I just sold it. And then we have Fang. And he is definitely cranky. And I like Fang, too. He's a pretty wolf. But he wasn't the cranky villager I was looking for. So I had to leave him behind. trying to figure out why I'm still shaking the trees. Didn't I get a coffee cup? Or was that the island before? I don't know. They're all running together. Fortunately, we're getting to the finale. So don't go anywhere, because this next one... next one's the one that made me shake my head, roll my eyes, throw my hands up. <laughs> We're almost there. my favorite and he's my favorite NPC. They never get rid of him. At least not his dialogue. All right, here we are. We got another Money Rock Island. What could make Money Rock Island better? Hmm? What do you guys think could make Money Rock Island better? Wait for it. It's coming. I don't know. Yeah. The villager I kicked out. Marina. How is it even possible? How did she even come into Mystery Island? I did not think I'd see her. And honestly, this was probably about 70-some in at this point. <laughs> I worked so hard to get rid of her. And there she is. So, I say, let the shenanigans begin. Honestly, I was just curious what would happen if you did that to, to one of the villagers on the, like, on the mystery island. Do they get mad? You know, it's, I just gotta know now. She could have cared less. Although, if you, if you go by history, it takes a lot to make her mad. She will get upset before she gets mad. Look at the face, though. You know she's not happy about it. She just doesn't know you well enough to say anything. <laughs> oh, if she wouldn't have shown up in my video, I'd have been fine. Seeing that I ended up talking to her twice. I'd have accidentally, I'm just calling it a K-Daisy. If I'd have K-Daisied her, I'd have been so upset. That would have been, I, I would have just, I would have, you know what? I probably would have just thrown the controller down, turned the game off, and I'd have given up. That's a new thing. We're just going to say K-Daisy. Every time we 
<laughs> we take a we take a villager that we didn't want. Yeah, it doesn't work on Mystery Islands. It's the same effect during the fireworks. It doesn't work. Like she's looking around like, who did that? Yeah, I've had my fun. Yeah, after after seeing her, I didn't even want to like even collect the money. <laughs> However, let's just fast forward 200 tickets. <laughs> fast forward 200 tickets. 3 a.m. In game. AKA 5.30 a.m. this morning. We finally found Gonzo. Wait till you see him. He's so cute. Look, I am, like, overjoyed. I could not believe I found him. Because I was at my wit's end, really. I was ready. I was ready. I was going to let it autofill. And hope for the best. Watch, with my luck, I would have gotten Marina back. He's just a little cranky koala. How cute is he? Look how cute he is. We match. I wore my gray, white, and pink too. Always good when you ask the right question to the right villager. Hmm. It was worth the wait. At least I think. I've been doing videos all day, so I haven't even had a chance to see if he's all moved in and settled in. And by the way, happiness doesn't have the impact that <laughs> the others do. <laughs> That's kind of silly, isn't it? Happiness. There. That has more impact. Isn't he cute? Look, he got all... He blushed. So yeah, the only thing left to do now is... We're gonna fly back. Well, we're gonna wake... We're gonna wake Wilbur up first. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're going to wake him up and we're going to fly back and we're going to make sure that there's a sold sign on that lot and it has Gonzo's name on it. And then I'll let y'all go. But it'll be nice to get out of that airport. All right, here we go. Everybody's sleeping. Here we go. All right. There we go. It is confirmed. All right, guys. Well, thanks for sticking around with me. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. And um, let me know if you liked it. Leave some comments. That would be great. I'd appreciate it. But really, truly, I do appreciate every one of you. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time. <laughs>